Looks like I should head up. I should climb that. Akasha was right. The trail's in bad shape. This looks recent. Must have broken off when Savohar climbed up here. those beams if I jump against the cliff. <laughs> Useful for making dyes. Okay, now how to climb higher. broken off after Savahar passed through. I need to find another way up. <sighs> broken bridge. I might be able to make the jump to the other side. himself pretty bad getting over the bridge. It's not looking good. It looks like he left a trail. There's the Stormbird. Getting closer. all of them.
Sotohar, in pretty bad shape. The true sun above me, the true sun before me. Show me the way that is even tight. <coughs> the true sun above me. You must be Sotohar. The true sun before me. Show me the way this even tight. <coughs> Must be empty for the coming vision. You don't need a vision. You need medical attention. On the way up, I saw parts of the trail had given way. Is that how you hurt yourself? My pain. All part of the ritual. You're hurt bad. And your people are running out of time. Staring at the stormbird isn't solving anything. You don't understand the omen. It fell here at the peak. I just need to see the twilight. And my people will find their home. Listen, Makasha is doing the best she can down there, but. Machine attacks. Angry Osiram. The Order is scared, Savar. The last rays of eventide will burn away their fear. I don't think so. Your people are worried about you. They need shelter. Security. The truth, I love me. The true sun before me. Show me the way. This even time. I think you've been staring at your salvation this whole time. The true sun above me. Gotta get over to that stormbird. Grab its heart. <laughs> A stormbird heart is valuable. Enough to feed all the refugees waiting below. And his answer is sunstroke in a prayer? Why does every priest I meet think blind faith is the answer to everything? I'll make an interesting color for my armor. The Osram that was watching the refugees probably went to get Tolland. I gotta get them out of here before he comes back. The lens. I'll tuck this away for now. There. The Order should be able to afford shelter with this heart. Some food and a change of clothes wouldn't hurt either. Savahar? How you holding up? I need to get back over there. <laughs> I'll 
save us for a dire. Savar? I guess you did the best you could. Rest easy now. I'll make sure your people are safe. I should let Lakasha know. And give her the Stormbird heart. Don't make this difficult. Get out of the way. I'm a generous gent. So I'll give you one more chance to make it easy on yourselves and clear out. We won't let you pass, Asaram. If you choose bloodshed, that's on your conscience. Ain't it just like the cards you to make things harder than they have to be? Okay, boys. You heard her. Get your consciences ready. Hold on now, Talland. You again? Listen, I'm all out of patience here. I clipped that Stormbird's wings. The salvage is mine. I don't care who gets in my way. Nora Savages or Shadow Cars or flea bags. I'm taking it. You sure you want to do that, Talland? You know who I am. What makes you think a single Osram lunkhead can take me down? I've got four guys. Huh? Ah, <laughs> oh, blast it. <sighs> okay. You win. Hey, I'm doing fine. I don't need that salvage anyhow. But these people need all the help they can get. Come on, boys. Back to chain scrape. I need a drink. Aloy, again, we thank you. You're welcome. Now take this heart. Use it to buy food, clothes, shelter for your people. Maybe even land to build a new home. This is... Savalhar must make these decisions. No, I'm... I'm sorry, Lakasha. Savalhar isn't coming back. He's gone. I know it's hard. But your people need a leader now. Go to Chainscrape. Talk to the Forge woman there, Petra. Give her the Stormbird heart. She'll look after you and your people until you can get back on your feet. Find your path. I'll do my best, Aloy. What choice do I have? Here, please accept this. It is modest, but I hope it helps in some small way. To chain scrape, then.
Savior, thank you for taking the time. And my condolences that you had to endure all of us bloviating. I've dealt with worse. It sounds like he's really trying to put you over the barrel. The idea that the Karja purposely let Bristlebacks into the dawn, it's, it's completely absurd. But the louder and longer he says it, the more support he'll get for his damned concession decree. How did the Bristlebacks get into the Daunt? No one knows for sure. The first report of them came from west of the quarry. But unless they have wings I don't know about, I don't see how they could have come over the mountains. No other way in. The only way I know about is barren light. Look, if you can get to the bottom of this, I can offer a considerable bounty in return. Help me shut Olvent up. How did you get stuck out here? I asked for the posting, believe it or not. Overseeing the entire valley on behalf of the Sun King? It was an honor. Is an honor, I mean. But your job would be a lot easier without someone like Ulvind blasting hot air all the time? Ulvind's not going anywhere. He's been around longer than I have. Even fancies himself the founder of Chainscrape. I'll find a way to live with him. I have to. You said the Bristlebacks were first spotted west of the quarry? Yes, according to one terrified laborer, said the ground trembled before they came charging down the hillside. He took off and ran all the way here. Good place to start looking, then. If you learn the truth, Maybe Ulvant will stop blaming the Karja for every problem under the sun, and maybe then he'll actually focus on rebuilding Baron Light instead. Back for that free meal? Go on, peruse my menu. Javad said the bristlebacks were first spotted west of the quarry. I should see if there's anything in the back of the valley. Charged off the cliff above. I should keep going up the trail. stash when I need it. The old car tracks collapsed. It looks recent. Guess I'm not going that way. There's smoke from deeper in the mine. An explosion. Bristlebacks. So they did come through here. They must have gotten trapped.
Okay. Better take a look at where the smoke's coming from. There's a lot of smoke. There's a blaze here to blast a mountain open. And there's a note on one of the barrels. This note's addressed to Olvind. Looks like this mine was supposed to be shut down. Olvind must have gotten greedy. Kept blasting deeper into the mountain. I should let Javad know what I found. So Olvind was secretly blasting in the mine, trying to squeeze it for all it's worth. Until Bristleback stampeded through. Maybe the explosions blew away open? But from where? Savior. What news do you bring? Picked up the Bristleback Trail by the quarry. Looks like they stampeded out of a mine at the back of the valley. The mine? How could a herd of Bristlebacks come from there? I'm not sure, but Alvin's workers were using explosives to tap the tunnels inside. For the love of Dawn, I told him it wasn't worth the risk. Those tunnels, they run for miles underground, even beyond the Daunt. No, you don't think... That Olvin's blasting opened up a passage from the other side? Perhaps. Yes, perhaps. If this is true, we need confirmation. An inquiry so thorough, so irrefutable, endorsed by the Savior. All right, I'll keep looking. What is this concession decree that Olvind wants? He wants the Sundom to designate portions of the Daunt as Osaram Holdings. Only the portions, mind you, that produce any value. Let me guess, because he stands to profit somehow? Exactly. With the Daunt under Osaram law, he could secure more investment for their numerous ventures. He can't get those investments without the concession? No. Not while there's a chance the Sundom could revoke their access. Hence, why the concession is so important to him. And why blaming the Karja for the Bristlebacks, no matter how absurd, works in his favor. How does blaming the Karja for the Bristlebacks help Olven get his concession? Look around. This may be the Sundom, but chain scrape is all gears and rust and bad ale. Claiming that the Karja loosed the Bristlebacks in order to intimidate Osaram laborers into obedience... Well... Let's just say no one here has forgotten the atrocities of the Mad Sun King. Even with the valley working again, 
Alvant hopes he can stir up enough resentment against the Karja to call for a strike. And if the Asaram refuse to work, unless the concession is signed, you won't have a choice. Correct. The reconstruction of Baron Light must continue. I need to go. Of course. If I'm gonna find out where the Bristlebacks came from, I need to head further west. Another reason to get the embassy going? I'm sorry, I'll be right with you. Uh... Okay, I'm not saying it's a bad idea. I'm saying it's overkill. It's a weapon! Kill is the point. Not if it blows the user's arm off! Oh, just, just, just stop talking! <sighs> Where were we? Ah! <clears throat> so, uh... You, you look like someone who's always searching for a new weapon. Am I right? Actually, I... <laughs> But you're just not! I am with a customer! I... I'm not a customer. I got it! Triple the powder! It'll blow a strider sky high! Ba-boom! One shot kill, guaranteed. Uh... Maybe I am. Then you are in the right place at the right time, Red! How would you like to be the proud owner of the world's first machine-enhanced... Explosive, done-in-one, machine-wrecking... Yet perfectly safe... Javelin Thrower. So, she's your partner? My apprentice, and my sister. She's why we're out here. It was an incident, another incident. Involving explosives? Ba-boom! And Dad's precious homebrew. He shipped us out the next day. Huh. Are you two from around here? Nah, the claim. Dad sent us out west in search of some unknown opportunity. Said we'll know it when we see it. Sounds like you had other ideas. Let's just say that opening another trading post for my parents isn't how I want to make my mark in this world. <sighs> I imagine traveling alone must be nice. Tell me more about this weapon of yours. I saw a scroll when I was a kid by some Karja scholar who wandered out west. I had a scary drawing of a Tanakh warrior hunting with a kind of javelin thrower. Effective, yes. Basic, undoubtedly. But coming out here made me remember it, and I am on the brink of vastly improving the tool's archaic design. Whereas I will perfect it. I can use machine parts to enhance the user's throw, increase the projectile's velocity. A boomer here is adamant that enhancing the projectile is better, namely with explosive tips. Boomsticks. Why not both? That could work. There's one small snag. I need the parts to make the first working model. Well, for starters, I'll need charger horns. Intact. Yeah, that. Just be sure to shoot them off before the machine goes down. Otherwise, they break. But the real innovation, and keep it to yourself, is a fang horn rib. There's a mean one east of here. Blow it sky high. Boomer! You get them for me. It's yours, my treat. You have a deal. I should have enough charger horns for Della and Boomer now. Just Send a rib from that fang horn they were talking about. Be welcome. I'm gonna leave this mount outside. Boomer said that fang horn should be nearby. There's the fan. Gonna have to take it down to get its rib. Down it goes. 
should be able to harvest its rib now. I know that look. You've got all the parts, haven't you? Here you go. Outstanding! I only need a few minutes to finish the prototype. I'll take the version that won't blow my arms off. Thanks. Hi. So did you blow up any machines to get the parts? Or any bandits? You really like explosions, huh? Here we go. With the boomsticks? Oh, you betcha. Um, is it safe? Probably. Can I have one? No! Ah. Uh... Cause we're gonna make you something even better. Ba boom Yes, break time is over now that the bristlebacks are gone. Can't override that now. I need to get data from the cauldron if I can find one. from the old world. But I could find something interesting inside. Okay, what do we have in here? It looks like this door needs some kind of key module. Maybe there's one in the ruin? What's this data say? There's a... Code for the locked door in this data. But I still need to find a key module. Great. That should be useful. Uh, no room on me. I can send it to my stash.
Okay. Gotta find a key for the door. There's more of the ruin down here. Oh, well, I can't reach the ledge above now. Guess I'll have to find another way up. down here. This lead. <laughs> A key module. Get this from my stash when I need it. See if this key fits. There. Um, looks like this needs a code, too. I think some of the data I picked up might help. Got it! <laughs> what is this thing? I'll hold on to it for now. Figure out what to do with it later.
see that? I should find whoever's in charge here. First, I could resupply at my stash. Might be worth taking a look around, too. Xavier! 